Masks on stage. Masks have been used in theatrical performances since ancient times. Masks help the theatre audience to focus on the character instead of the performer. Behind a mask, an actor can be anonymous and become the character. The ancient Greeks were famous for their theatre. Actors would wear masks like these on stage. They had exaggerated expressions to demonstrate the characters' emotions clearly. The audience would be sure exactly how the characters were feeling. Only men were allowed to act at that time, so the masks were also useful for the actors playing the parts of women. Theatrical masks were famously used in Commedia dell'arte, a type of Italian theatre performed in the 16th century. These performances were all about the humour. They were never actually written, as actors were expected to improvise the lines. The masks in Commedia dell'arte had very distinct features. Each character's mask was unique. They often had bushy eyebrows and long noses. The actors moved in exaggerated ways too, which all helped to entertain audiences throughout Italy. Theatrical masks were not only used in Western theatre. In medieval times, no plays were performed throughout Japan. The masks were mainly used to portray non-human roles. However, even if an actor wore a mask of a monster, the mask would not have much or any expression. It was the job of the actor to bring the character to life through the use of movements and gestures. All these masks were unique in their own ways, but they all helped the actors to become the character they were playing. You can still watch theatre performances using these kinds of masks all over the world today.